Welcome to the Windows Computers and Technology channel and I want to answer a question that I get a lot today. Uh, so we have TPM which is a trusted platform module, it's a chip. But we also have um, different versions embedded within some CPUs. And one of the things that you have to know is that even if you don't have that chip is the fact that there are some uh, embedded trusted platform modules. Intel calls it PTT, uh, which is the trusted, uh, their own version of the, the, the trusted platform module. It's embedded within the CPU. Now, it's very important, not all CPUs have it. And it's not true that because you have a CPU of two years ago, you might have it. It depends on the category of the CPU that Intel is uh, in your PC. Higher end, mid range Intel do have it. Now, one of the things that might happen is that it's not enabled correctly within the BIOS. So this is something that you might need to check. I'll be checking in different ways on how to check your, um, your um, UEFI or BIOS for that. So sometimes it's just because it's not enabled that it, Windows 11 tells you that this is not compatible. If you have a Ryzen CPU, one of the latest Ryzen CPUs, you also have TPM 2.0. This is also embedded in there. There's a lot of PCs that have it that I suspect are not simply not um, uh, enabled within the CPU correctly. So a lot of you that don't have compatibility check that says it's not working, it might be the fact that it's not enabled, simply not enabled. But remember, like I said, a lot of computers don't have it also. So there will be some machines that will be left off. For the rest, for people saying I'm going to a Mac, good luck. Mac is worse than Microsoft in supporting old stuff. And for those going to Linux, yeah, nobody goes to Linux. It doesn't work like that. These are Linux fanboys trying to take advantage of this, uh, of this forum for that reason. Um, but do check your BIOS and do a search with your laptop, your desktop, uh, especially with, you know, Intel uh, CPUs like I Core i5s, i7s, uh, and, and AMD Ryzen. And if you do have that checked and that works, one thing that's very important to check is maybe your graphics adapter is incompatible with the DirectX 12. And uh, I'll be making videos uh, tomorrow. There's going to be a series of videos for that. We're going to be checking that out. But uh, don't go too crazy on maybe it's not compatible because it might be it might be just a little change that you need to do into your PC like in the BIOS uh, in order to enable this feature. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.